programmers. My last video was introducing linked list and I had a linked list of Easter eggs. But in that video, I had hard coded that there was exactly three Easter eggs and that's it. And it wasn't able to change size. The linked list wasn't able to grow and uh, allow you to dynamically allocate memory. So this time I'm going to modify the example so that we start out with an empty list. So at the very first time you run the program, main is going to have a variable linked list that's going to point to null, meaning there's nothing that it's pointing to. There's no Easter eggs in that linked list at all. And every time you want to add a new egg, you're going to call a function called add egg that takes a pointer to an egg and returns a pointer to an egg. So the first time you call it, that variable list is going to have null in it because that's what you passed in. That's what your list started out as. And so I'm going to switch over to the code. Here's what our structure Easter egg looks like. It has a color and then a pointer to the next Easter egg in the linked list. Our print eggs function will remain the same as last time. We're just going to traverse the list of uh, the linked list and look at the starting position. And then while that's not null, that means there's at least one egg. We can print its color and then move on to the next one in the list. This is the new function add egg. So the very first time through, you're passing in a null pointer and you're going to allocate some new space in memory, the size of an egg structure, and fill in the color as yellow. I just hard coded, we'll always start with a yellow Easter egg. And then we're going to be setting the next part of that structure to null. So we're looking at one Easter egg the first time we call this function and that's it. And then we return the new head of the list. The head of the list used to be set to null. That's what we got passed inside. But after we do malloc, we have a new beginning of the list. So here's what the code looks like and the what it'll look like in a picture form is that you had passed null into the function, but as soon as you call malloc, you're grabbing some memory, and then we filled in a yellow Easter egg, and we set the next part of this structure to null. And that's what adding the first Easter egg looks like. And when you return the new pointer to the beginning of the list, instead of the main looking at a linked list that's set to null, your linked list is actually pointing to an egg. So I'll go ahead and run that the first time through. In main, I've got this linked list that starts out as null. And I say, do you want to find more eggs? And I'll always ask the question at least once, yes or no, do you want to find more eggs? I'm going to say yes. And then it will call that add an egg function. And now our linked list variable is pointing to the yellow Easter egg. And so when we say print the linked list, right now we just have yellow. Well, how do you add a second Easter egg? Well, I'll look at the picture first. So to add a second Easter egg, now when you're passing in your pointer to the egg structure into the function, you're not pointing an passing an empty pointer anymore. You're passing a pointer that's pointing to a yellow egg. So the variables in the function are list, and then we're also going to create another variable that's a pointer to an egg called front of list because we want to keep track of where this yellow egg is because we're going to end up adding a second egg. And so instead of pointing to null, that yellow egg is going to say the next thing in the list is. And when we malloc, we create some new memory that we're pointing to here, we can fill in the whatever randomly selected egg we want and then the pointer from that point on to the next egg is null. So this is what it looks like as a picture and let me just jump over into the code. So the second time through this loop if they want to find another egg we're going to call the add egg function again pass in the pointer to our first egg in the list which is the yellow egg pass that in to this function add egg. I have a 2D array of colors and I just put it in the function so I wouldn't have to scroll off um, and show this in a different part of the code, but I just wanted to show I've got um, six different colors and they all have less than 20 characters worth of 
um, letters in them to describe the color. So we can randomly pick from one of these colors every time we add a new egg to the list. The first egg is special, so it's always yellow. We only go into this if statement the first time we add an egg. The second time we call the function, the list pointer is not null, so we'll go into the else. We create our front of the list pointer, which is going to be really important when we add the third egg onto the list. For right now, our front of the list and our list are both pointing to that yellow egg right now. We don't end up going in this while loop when we're adding our second egg because even though the list wasn't null, the list dash next was null we didn't have a second egg we were looking at so we don't go through this while loop the second time we call the function but we can allocate some new memory for a second egg in the list so we'll say list dash next which used to be null and now we're going to say add in a new spot in memory that has enough room for everything the egg has then just to make the assignment statements easier when we we're setting the next to null and doing a string copy to add in the color I just created another pointer that had the name new egg so that one points at the new one so we don't have to traverse the list and do list dash next to get to set the color and the next property of that egg so once we're done with this because the function always returns a pointer of type egg we have to return the front of the list pointer so that's what it looks like when you add two eggs. What if you want to add a third egg? So adding the third egg, this is what the picture looks like. Your main function is pointing, starting at the yellow egg. You're going to call that function, pass in the beginning pointer, the pointer to the yellow egg, and that is going to be what list has in the beginning, but list is gonna quickly point to the second egg. So let's look at that code. So we've called, we've called the function with a pointer to yellow. That is not null, so we go into the else. We've got our pointer to the front of the list, and then this time we're gonna go in the while loop because our list dash next, the yellow egg's next pointer is pointing to the orange egg, and that's not null. So we're going to change what list is looking at, and it's going to look at the next thing in the list, or the orange egg. So that's why my list pointer all of a sudden is not pointing to the beginning of the list, it's pointing to the second thing in the list. And if it's pointing there, then its next pointer was null, but we're going to dynamically allocate some memory so we've got room for a third egg in the list. We'll set the new egg pointer to point to this new item. So we, we look back at the picture and the new egg is pointing to that memory that we just allocated. It's ready to fill in and we can copy in the color for that egg. And we're also going to need to add a pointer to the next part and say that's going to point to no and when you add a fourth and a fifth egg, it's going to follow the same pattern as this third egg, but you're going to go through the while loop extra times every time you've got to traverse the egg to look at the next item. So link lists um, and anything with these pointers can be pretty tricky. I'd recommend diagramming it out on a piece of paper, um, and I'll come up with some more videos if that's helpful to my students. Have a great day, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.